We began this research several years ago when Ontario was um, in the throes of rapidly changing its health curriculum. So in the space of three years, health teachers were um, offered three different health curriculum that they were being asked to teach. And at the same time, there was a lot of public scrutiny, a lot of public conversation about it. There was a lot of controversy and attention to what was happening in teaching health and physical education in classrooms throughout Ontario. So we began our research in that context. We wanted to know how were teachers who were sort of at the front lines of this confluence of um, ideological battles between governments, between parents, between teachers and human rights and students. And almost all of them were very supportive of the changes in the curriculum and excited to teach it. What they weren't excited about was how it was rolled out. They felt like um, it was very confusing to constantly be getting different messages, to every year be asked to introduce a different curriculum. They were very frustrated by the ways that the government set them up as the teachers were the problem. We know from other research that the vast majority of parents in Canada and in Ontario as well support sex education in schools. And so teachers wanted more, more time, more support, more training, and they wanted even more resources, particularly in the context of the changing demographics of Ontario. And as we become a more and more diverse province and more and more diverse community, thinking about what kinds of resources would reflect that diversity and making sure to have these conversations in ways that honor very different cultural traditions and understandings around the body and health and well-being and giving students even um, a greater rich and depth of materials and options to, to have these conversations in.